What's going on filmmakers? Today we're gonna have some fun with the Moza Air 2S. I'm pretty curious how this gimbal is. I'm gonna give you my feedback on it. So we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna tell you if this gimbal is good or not. But first of all, let's unbox this thing and see what this gimbal comes with. We have this beautiful case that comes with and uh, it's pretty cool. It's quite big for a gimbal in 2021, so not gonna lie. I hope this gimbal can take bigger payloads because I wanna test it out with bigger lenses. I think it looks pretty cool. What's inside, we have the accessories here and the gimbal itself. It comes with these straps. So, first impression is that this gimbal is pretty big. I mean, it's bigger than I expected, so not gonna lie. And let's see what other accessories we have here. So in the first compartment, we have the plate, which uh, looks pretty cool. There's only one box left. And this box um, should have a few cables. Let's check it out. So yeah, we have a bunch of cables here for different type of cameras. And uh, you get quite a lot of variety in cables. And let's see what else. A few mounting accessories, like I'll put them here. Ooh, this is pretty cool. I like this. This is gonna be on my bag. Look, this is really nice. It is like a small key that you can tighten up your plates on the camera. And I really love how it looks. So definitely is gonna go on my bag. We have a lot of screws and different stuff. So pretty much the things that you kind of see in a gimbal. We also have here a few, um, let's say rods. So I think this one goes into the other one so you can make it longer. I'm not gonna go more in detail regarding uh, its specs or anything like that. I'm just gonna go and test it out and see if it handles my Sony a7S III with a 20 to 70. And then we're gonna try to see if we can balance the 70 to 200 because I'm really curious if this can take that. So guys, I managed to calibrate the Sony a7S III with the Sony 24 to 70 on this gimbal and it was really easy, nothing complicated about that. Uh, the whole process was really enjoyable and all that. Also, calibrating the gimbal and fine-tuning my settings was also easy. The UI system of this gimbal is pretty good. But there are a few things that I did not like about this gimbal in the first place. And number one is the fact that although it's really cool that it has locking mechanism on each axis so you can transport this gimbal easier, the locking mechanism is not so good. Like, whenever you, like move the camera it moves it's not locked all the way so there is still a little bit of movement in the axis even though it's locked uh, number two is the fact that so far i think this gimbal is pretty heavy for 2021 gimbals and also pretty big considering the fact that you cannot put a bigger camera here than uh, you can put on a dji ronin rs2 so Another thing that would have been cool to have on this gimbal was to have a pre-charged battery and it's not pre-charged. This gimbal came with only two lines of battery from five so hopefully we have enough battery to shoot the test. But overall my first impression is not that bad. Like there are a few negatives of course because I'm comparing this with one of the best gimbals in the world like the DJI Ronin RS2. But um, so far, in terms of build materials and quality, it kind of compares a little bit. So let's see if it stabilizes the footage really good, because if it does, then I'm gonna recommend it. And if it does not, then it's not such a good gimbal. So let's find out. 
at home I was really wishing I can put my 70 to 200 on this gimbal but as you can see there is minimal distance here um, for the camera so even though it seems like a big gimbal there is not so much room for bigger lenses or bigger cameras so why would you make a, such a big gimbal if there's not more room? My overall experience with this gimbal was not an amazing one because I'm not getting the power that I want out of this gimbal so in some cases the gimbal is not stabilizing the way it should and I think that is because of the fact that the batteries are not fully charged so we're gonna go home charge the battery and see if this gets better because right now we are in ultra strong mode and if I want to make the zoom or something like that I can really easily move the, the motors, which is something that wasn't supposed to happen in a mode that it's called ultra strong. So let's hope charging the battery fixes this. So even though I started off not liking this gimbal so much, now I actually like it. And to be honest, there are a few things that I didn't like in the first place, like you saw. But after using it a little bit and after getting used to it, I started really liking this gimbal. And mostly for the way it works, because it stabilizes the footage really, really good. I'm quite impressed on how good it stabilizes it. And I think this is the most important thing at a gimbal to make your footage as stable as possible and the rest of the features are just bonuses. It has a lot of intuitive features on it and to be honest one of the things that I love the most about it is the fact that you can control the gimbal really easy. You can set the dead band, you can set the follow speed, you can set all these settings in just a few buttons. This is really good. Also, you have here on the side a lot of mounting points. You also have a cold shoe mount so you can put your, let's say, uh, audio features or lavaliers or microphones and all that. And you also have a, a lot of different mounting points. So, to be honest, even though it's not like the best gimbal in the world, it actually stabilizes really good and that's the most impressive thing for me. So my final impression about this gimbal is that it's pretty cool and I totally recommend it. For the price you pay, you get a really good stabilization system and that's everything that matters. I prefer better stabilization over features anytime and this gimbal really delivers. Um, to be honest, I know this uh, review was a little bit different from what you guys are used to, but hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to subscribe and leave me a comment what you thought about this video and this gimbal and until next time, I really want you to go out there, create some epic content and have fun. Cheers!